welcome to yet another video um so i wanted to do a video that you guys would enjoy well i hope you enjoy all of my videos of course but i wanted to do a video that had been requested so today we are doing uh well you already know because it says in the title we're doing a jewelry collection video and i don't really know how i'm going to do this or how other people do this but that doesn't really matter because i mean i'm my own person but anyways here's me rambling so what i want to say is i don't really know how to do this in like a fun way but i just thought you know i'll do what i do and then hopefully you guys will enjoy it so first of all i want to say that like 80 to 90 percent of my jewelry is vintage so i won't be putting any links down below for like so you guys can find the jewelry because a lot of them a lot of the pieces are one-offs and unique pieces that i bought vintage um i will mention a few good sites for you guys though um that are like my favorite sites for maybe jewelry that isn't vintage or where i buy vintage jewelry online if i do normally i get them at markets and there's no specific markets but i get i just you know whenever i travel i find markets or i find cute little stores i just kind of i mean for me like vintage shopping is not it's like a passion like i love it so i just kind of find places wherever i am i thought i would start with like my favorite little box so everyone probably knows the fairfax market in la that's on sundays the fairfax melrose market i have gotten a few pieces there it is quite overpriced not gonna lie so like i wouldn't recommend people to go there and shop because it is overpriced um, but I have gotten a lot of my earrings from there. It says Dreamville on them. They're super cute. They hang a little. I've also gotten these ones there. Just like, you just clip them on like this. Also, a lot of my earrings are clip-ons. I have pierced earrings. I have pierced ears, but um, most of them are clip-ons just because I do buy the vintage. I've also gotten these there. It's just like a little gold plate, kind of super cute, super basic, but still like special. My mom bought me these when she was in LA this December. They're like a little, kind of like Chanel inspired. Yeah, there we go. I also, like a pair of my favorite, favorite earrings, and they've been a pair of my favorite earrings forever, are these babies. They're like, all of my earrings are kind of big. They're all super like statement earrings. Um, some of them are like more basic, but like most of the vintage ones that I have are pretty out there. I was recently in Barcelona and I showed you guys a pair of earrings. These are like my favorite. These are another pair of my favorites. I think they're so cute. They have like pearls on them. So this is like my market finds i got these in a store in portugal just a random store so don't ask me what store it was because it was just like a really random store i found them in um these i got in barcelona i think these are just like pretty basic as well so most of my earrings i just get but there's two pairs of earrings. I'm picking up a third today that I've received from a lovely girl, a lovely woman. She runs a store called Susan Kaplan and she sells online vintage earrings or vintage jewelry that are like exclusive, like good brands. So I've received two Givenchy earrings from her and they're just like, they're so insanely beautiful. Like the crafting is just insane. The details, like the quality, I'm just so, thankful to even have received them they're so amazing i don't know how many times i've used these and these as well this is also Givenchy. like they're insane like i need to show you guys close-ups they're so pretty they're like i don't even have words so if you want to like indulge if you want to um splurge a little on something that is a bit more pricier um or like good earrings that won't you know like the color won't come off the color the quality won't get worse then you should definitely check out susan kaplan so these are from my little 
um, internet friend, um, Sasha, Bohem Goods. So these are shelves. So you can definitely check her out. She has amazing vintage stuff online. Um, she has recently started um, selling more vintage jewelry as well. But there's, you know, so many cute clothes, interior, um, children wear, homeware, so many cute stuff. So that's bohemgoods.com. I love supporting businesses that are run by women and really strong and powerful women that just do their own thing and, you know, are really good at it as well. So that's part one of my little, a few of my favorite pieces. I thought I would only do, I would only show you guys my favorite pieces because I do have a lot of jewelry that just like, it's just like lying in my cabinets so fun story I did a shoot last year in Italy with James Smith it's a shoe brand and in the shoot I wore these earrings and I fell in love with them so I asked her can I please have them and I received these and she got a pair of my earrings so we did a little swap I just think they're so cute I mean they're not like earrings that I would wear like every single day but it's kind of fun especially for photos and I like wearing them like if I'm just wearing something really basic and if I want to be a little more fun so these are from a girl in Italy, I guess. I don't know the brand, I don't know who does it, but she found them in Italy, in Positano. Another really pretty piece from Susan Kaplan is this bracelet. I don't know if my camera will allow you guys to see. There you go. So this is a Dior bracelet. It's a little too big for me right now. I am gonna go in and get it fixed, and then it'll just be, you know, like really simple, cute. I love it so much. You have recently seen me wear this a lot. It's my little R. This is from Celine. They have bigger sizes, they have small sizes. I have the small size. Another favorite necklace of mine is this one. It's a vintage, not even vintage. It's my mom's old Givenchy necklace. So it just has like a yes. It has like a little G in diamonds. Super cute. And this necklace, you guys, this is my always, I always wear this. It's the Dior necklace that my mom is my mom's old as well. So this is a brand that you guys can buy now. This is not vintage. This is Luvai, Lavai. I never know how to pronounce this, but you know, I bet someone in the comment section will tell me how to pronounce this, so. Um, but L-U-V-A-J. It's a California brand. Super cute rings. So it's like a little signet ring. And a ring with roses. I really like the signet ring. It's super like, super. It's just easy, basic, but still cute. Like, it's simple but detailed. So these two rings are from her. I this is her old collection. I have a few things from her new collection that I can show you guys. Um, so her new collection is like a lot of these things. So it's kind of different from her old thing. Super cute. So this is her new things. And also this cute little ring. This is also like a segment ring. There we go. <laughs> um, so yeah, you should definitely check her out. She has really cute stuff. It's um, it's LA based, I think. At least it's California based. So rings for me are must have. I love this one from C by Kluya. I got it. Um, my mom bought it a couple years ago, and we've been sharing it ever since. I also love, you know, just like kind of bigger rings. I love stacking my rings, you know, wearing a lot of them at the same time. For me, it doesn't really matter what rings I'm wearing. I just love wearing like many of them and just, you know, pop them on. Like you can never be too many rings, especially when you're wearing like a basic outfit. So that's that. These earrings, like a pair of my favorite, favorite earrings. This is from her collection um, together with Sabo skirt. So you guys know how much I love Sabo skirt. So you should definitely like if you love these earrings, I think they still have them. They're so cute. They're just like, they're basic, but still, you know, I really love that they're heavy and chunky. It just makes them look really expensive. Another brand I really want to talk about is my favorite girl, Sophia from Hawaii. She is, she messaged me last year saying she wanted to send me stuff. Um, and I fell in love immediately. And she's a girl from Hawaii, like I said, and she does these things by hand, and they're so amazing, they're so unique. And that's the thing with Instagram as well, like, I'm so thankful that Instagram kind of, like, connected us, because we have this really cute, real, like, cute um, friendship going on, even if we haven't met each other um, 
it's just like she's amazing i love supporting her as well i love wearing your pieces and i love spreading the word about them because they're so cute so here's a pair of her earrings that are my favorites they're a little shell you guys know my love for the ocean so i've worn these a couple of times i had them on in the jamaica vlog how cute so sophia c jewelry um definitely check her out she's the sweetest girl ever i have a few other pieces of her that are really cute so this is a necklace with a shell and this is amazing like i don't even have words it's a pearl it's so pretty i'm like can't even handle it so that's sophia c jewelry um definitely check her out let her know that matilda sent you she has a lot of small stuff as well so these are cute earrings with like a little palm tree there we go they're so cute it's like a little oh it's a palm tree i mean what the hell something we could discuss is my little um necklace for that i did for naked i love it it's so cute it's the tattoo you know it's my tattoo my wave tattoo that's my family tattoo um i was in a competition with um five other influencers from i don't know a little all over the place and we just we each got to design three pieces for naked naked.com and the one who won the competition you won by selling out the fastest and i did that i sold out eee! and i mean thanks to you guys it was insane i think we like sold out in like two or three hours or something um and it was just so much fun so incredible and it was fun for me to design jewelry because you know my love for jewelry and i wanted to see if it was something that you guys thought was interesting and fun to buy from me so i designed this necklace a pair of earrings and a scarf they're currently all sold out but they will be restocking and i will put the link below so you guys can sign up to the vip list so you get all of the information on you know when we will be restocking i'm so excited and i'm also excited to tell you guys that we won't only be restocking those three pieces but we will also be adding more so i'm designing even more jewelry for naked which is so much fun pinch me okay maybe i can talk about a few brands that i like um a few other brands that like i buy jewelry from sometimes you know like more budget 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 whatever um so this necklace is from mango and also these earrings so mango for me is like you can definitely find cute um cute pieces for better prices the only thing with jewelry from like um from brands like mango or sarah or h&m is that don't go in the water with them and the quality will still last if you just if you wear them on land um i mean i wear a lot of my vintage jewelry in the ocean and like when i shower in the pool or whatever but i never wear other jewelry pieces in the ocean or in the water just because they do tend to come off a little bit um so h&m sarah i haven't bought jewelry from sarah in a long time but h&m and mango are definitely places where you can find really cute stuff for you know a good price and i wish i could tell you guys more shops like where i get jewelry where i shop jewelry but like i want to be real with you guys always because you know what would i be if i wasn't honest with you guys um i don't really i buy most of my jewelry vintage and I don't have like a particular shop in Sweden or a particular shop in LA or in like Barcelona or whatever. Um, I kind of just, you know, wherever I travel, I kind of just wing it and Google or, you know, I just, me and Erasmus, we always do a lot of walking. So I just walk around a lot and, you know, kind of stumble upon cute places where I find nice stuff. I mean, I could mention, I really like Annie Lou. Annie Lou is a Danish brand. Um, she has amazing stuff and you should show, you should definitely check that out. She, you know, like... I can't find them now and I'm so upset I can't even discuss it um but I have pearl earrings that are from her but I can't find them right now um but she also does really like dainty pieces like these earrings um a lot of like small bracelets cute necklaces just a lot of cute stuff that are quite simple but still you know with like a little twist Danish brand Annie Lou and another Australian brand that I really like I'll show you guys a ring. Um, so this ring is from there. 
it's fairly jewelry so f a i r l e y i think really cute stuff as well i think that's all yeah i hope you like this video i know it's not like the other videos i do i guess and it's a lot of me just sitting here talking and i need to be honest with you or i was in the beginning i didn't really know how to make this video fun but I hope you guys thought it was fun. I hope you guys liked it. Um, don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any ideas on you know, videos you want to see, just comment below. Um, I guess that's all for me today. I love you guys. You're amazing. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for you know commenting. I love reading all of your comments. And YouTube is like, I really like making videos, but it's definitely like the platform that I'm most insecure about. So, you know, reading your comments where you guys tell me that you like my videos really do help me a lot. And it kind of pushes me to make more videos, even though I am kind of, you know, insecure about them. And I guess I'm just insecure about them just because, you know, I'm still fairly new to them and I don't know which videos you like. Sometimes I feel like, you know, you guys like the get ready with me videos the most and then sometimes it feels like you like the vlogging videos and I'm, I think I'm just kind of trying to find that balance. I think I'm just trying to find balance between making um, different videos so it's not always the same thing. Now I'm gonna go and eat lunch. I'll talk to you Angel soon. So jewelry for me is definitely like a must-have. I would never walk out the door without jewelry on. And I'm that kind of person who will like take a shower, put a robe on, and then put my earrings on. My sister and my mom laughed at me one time when I came home to there. When I went home to my mom and dad's apartment in my PJs with my hair up and like the biggest vintage earrings ever. And they just laughed at me because they're like, this is so typical of you. But you know, jewelry is definitely it's a statement for me. Um, it's just a fun element to put into my outfits to get, you know, to express myself. I remember when I was like super small, my mom would always buy like, or I don't know if my mom bought it, but we would always have it at home, like a magic trick, a lot of like beads and gold chains and stuff. And I would always sit and make my own things. I think I had like a pair of earrings. I don't know who made these, if it was me or my mom or you know my sister or we did it all together, but these we put together in our own house. So it's like, it's fun memories for me, jewelry. It's the same thing like, I remember living in California and I would always go to school with like 10 bracelets stacked on my arms, like on both arms, just like 10 in different colors. Cause even back then when I was like nine years old, it was a way for me to express myself so I definitely think jewelry will always be a big part of my life and it's just so much fun you know all the stories behind them and then just thinking that I will pass these on to my daughters or my sons if they want them it's just a really cool like thing to think about shopping vintage for me like going into vintage stores and vintage markets it's such a it's just a special thing for me. I just go into like my own little world and I just explore and you know, I love kind of thinking about the stories behind all the pieces.